Hello friends, big Tennessee hello, this is Randy. Hey, I wanted to put a little video out instead of a picture. I was gonna do like a little picture of this, this packable wind shirt. It's from TRC Outdoors, but there's a little explanation along with this that I don't think that a photo would be enough. You can go to the website, you can read up on it all you want. There's reviews, there's better description than probably what I can give. But since I use this, um, sometimes it's better, I think, for me anyway, if I see a guy, just a normal guy like us, that's um, using some of these products, kind of give his own take on it, if you will. I've had this thing since September. Just really hasn't been windy and cold here in Tennessee at all till about four weeks ago. We finally had some good cold air and some wind. And I put this thing to use. I bought a new rifle, been sighting it in. I sat out here a couple of days for a few hours at a time, had this thing on. The wind seemed to just blow all the time. I used it up on the mountain here while I was hunting whitetail. Sitting and glassing, watching these old strip pits, as we call them here in Tennessee. So, so I've had this thing out in the wind several times, enough that I realized a few things, and I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it has tremendous benefits to be so small and lightweight. It weighs five ounces, guys. So five ounces and very, very compact and small. Anything like these little packable items, rain jackets, you guys know this is really what it takes. Well, cold weather, I think most of us will agree that... Um, it's hard to beat these puffy jackets for the weight and the warmth and uh, the uh, the bulk. So what I've realized is that that wind shirt, that Sierzo wind shirt, it's really baggy shirt. So if you put it on in your living room and you're wearing a t-shirt, you're like, man, this thing is huge. They refer to it as a generous fit um, or a voluminous fit. Here in Tennessee, we say it's really baggy. And it is, it's like wearing like a big parachute or something, like a balloon. I thought, well, I don't know, you know, it has the elastic around the waist and around the, the cuffs. And, you know, it, it's not an athletic fit. It's not nothing you're going to wear out when you take the wife out to uh, to dinner or whatever. It, it has an intended purpose. That's why I'm here. What I realize, I love my little puffy jackets. This is a cheap one, guys, like 650 feel, but it, it, it works really good. And, um... So I put it on, so lightweight, it's in the backpack, and uh, it works really good, but it does not stop any wind. I'll be putting that, uh, my rain jacket on over it sometimes. I had a black one of these, I put the rain jacket on, but I tried to zip it up, and I snagged a few holes in it over about three or four days. I had three or four holes on there, and it's okay, but the, the rain jacket helped stop the wind, but... It didn't breathe at all, and I would actually kind of sweat a little bit under there, and then I'd get cold. And it was kind of tight in the arms and tight across the back, and I still feel some wind. So it worked, and it will work, but, man, for something this small, it's like 40 bucks. I think it is on their website. Guys, go check it out. Read up on Ben O'Toole on there. He has a nice little story about him if you'd like to read something that's interesting. But what I realized, guys, that wind picks up, and, uh, I reach in my bag and, and get this little lightweight, it, and it's quiet too. It's much quieter than my rain jacket. That was another thing that I liked about it. I wanted to to mention that it's quiet. But this big baggy, this this generous fit is the best thing about it. Even though it's not fashionable in the, the living room or out on the street, but when you get out there in the back country, you get this wind going. This elastic seal stops all the wind. Same thing for the uh, for the sleeves. And with all this room, it doesn't compress on that puffy. You know, if you compress that that down, you you, you lose that loft, and now you've lost uh, anything, any of that warm air. Just doesn't work. You guys know all this, but this thing has ample room inside, and I think that's just the best thing about it. It's just it looks huge. I know it does, but it just really seems to let your skin evaporate a little bit of the moisture and it keeps that warm air in and the cold air out. It has a really big hood on it, like if you have a bigger hat, something like that. And sometimes I maybe put it on to keep the wind off my face and I'll slide my hat on over it and this thing will just pull around and help keep some wind off my face. But guys, it's basic. There's no zippers, no pouches, pockets, nothing like that. Buttons, no Velcro, no noisy, anything. It's just perfect. There's a little elastic on there. I think it's great. It's just a good little item, man, that uh, keeps the wind off tremendously. Now, I don't know about extreme conditions, Alaska, coastal areas. Um, 
It's, it's water repellent, resistant, not waterproof. They say you can waterproof it with this solution that you wash it in. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe I'll do that next time. But just for the sheer weight, the quietness, and just how efficient that it really is, um, I think it's a really good um, addition to the pack. And what I did also do was, and this is just me, but they go so good together with this puffy. I just consider these two married forever. I actually put them together, put them back in the stuff sack together as one. And now you don't even need this few cubic inch that it may have been and this extra little pouch. I mean, that just saves more space. This all goes right back in the, in the same pouch I had anyway. It's just a very good addition to the puffy jacket, I think so. Uh, you guys try it out, man. Go in there and read up on Ben Tool. Look at the reviews. Look at the specs. They basically have two sizes, a standard size and a, a, like a long. That one is a little short on the seam from the armpit to the waist. For me, I'm right at six foot tall. I would say anyone that's like 5'11 and up can get the tall or the long. Anyone else can wear that, that standard, standard fit. But guys, I think it's a really good little product um, we can add in our packs to help us out without adding any weight or any space, basically. So uh, good luck, guys. Hang in there.